okay good day everyone so we're going to apply a design to the fabric using a stencil a stencil is basically a cutout you can buy stencils so it can be a cutout from fabric sorry from paper or from plastic that you would use to help apply um, color to the fabric ap apply a design to your fabric um, before we start we always use something to prevent something like cardboard or piece of plastic to prevent the paint from bleeding through okay so you can actually make your own stencil so here I have one that was made from a sheet of plastic or you can make it from paper or like I said you can get the store bought ones the best thing to use to apply the paint used with the stencil is a, a sponge so you can buy the sponges you can buy the sponges or you can use the simple sponge that's used for washing dishes and cut it up and use this sponge okay so I would apply my paint to my sponge and then I would dab it onto the areas that have been cut out okay I use a dabbing motion instead of a dragging motion because this gives me a more even finish And you want to keep the stencil steady you don't want to move it so it would be a great idea to tape it down if it's a large motif but since this one is a smaller one I've chosen not to do that too I'm just holding it down with my hands if you don't want your colors to mix you need to use a clean sponge for each color but I want orange well a bit of orange so I'm going to use the same sponge but if you don't want your colors to mix use a clean sponge again I'm using a dabbing motion as opposed to a dragging motion combination of colors with a stencil you have a little bit of control make sure all the cutouts you filled in all of the cutouts and then you can remove your stencil and see your design as soon as you're finished you tidy up clean your stencil clean your brushes and that's how you use a stencil to apply color or to apply a design to fabric 